I'm just going to start talking. So, oh, everyone knows what a thought bubble is, right? So how do you make a thought bubble? Um, I, I started making a thought bubbles by using a brainwave sensor, testing it out with kids, connecting it to a motor. Um, and then by connecting it to a motor, kids will try to blow up a balloon by concentrating. As you can see here, they're trying to concentrate really hard to blow up that balloon. And then I move that technology onto a bubble helmet. So if I concentrate as hard as I can, I get actual thought bubbles that you can see. <laughs> Another fun project I worked on was a virtual food fight because everyone loves food fights, but who wants to clean up the mess? So as you can see, I have a connect sensor hooked up, and when I make a throwing motion, I get to throw virtual food. And so this was a popular project for the kids. And after working on these uh, 3D visual projects, I moved on to a more personal project about my childhood experience with sleep paralysis, which is when you wake up, but your body doesn't wake up, so you can't move. So basically, I used a VR headset, which makes you immersive, uh, an inflatable suit, and a brainwave sensor. So basically, the, my tester here is trying to concentrate to wake her virtual self up from sleep paralysis. And when she isn't concentrating, her, her inflatable suit blows up, so she feels paralysis. And now for my more recent work at Isobar as an immersive developer, we work on photorealistic VR. Here's a side-by-side -side capture of what you see in VR. And then what we use is room scale VR in particular, because as Aldis mentioned earlier, you don't get motion sick. We have testers here. We went to each location, this was a project for a brand, um, and we used LiDAR captures and spherical HDRIs to create a foreground and a background for the user to feel immersed in a photorealistic environment. Programs such as Unity and Cinema 4D were used for this project, and we did a lot of testing with users. This is a great experience for the brand because, oh, here we are on site. Um, this is a great experience for the brand because people could experience these locations without having to actually fly there. So they would use this for sales events. And so it starts as a vacation simulator, and then you go to Chicago, where you can set off fireworks. Hawaii, where you can juggle pineapples and coconuts and the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. You can try to catch the butterflies. Oh, they're a little too quick. <laughs> and so customers can experience these locations without having to fly there. However, room scale VR is cumbersome with all the equipment, so we made other disseminations, such as 360 video content that's easily shareable on YouTube and Facebook, but not as immersive. So we created mixed reality content where we layer the, the captures of somebody interacting in VR and put them in the actual environment. So here we have a virtual ghost moving around, trying to pick up the pineapples. Oh, not a very good shot. <laughs> And then here's the green screen of the person actually in the environment. And so with the composite of those layers, you get mixed reality, easily shareable without having to wear cumbersome equipment if you don't want to try out VR. Well, it's just not a bad shot there. <laughs> not a great juggler either. And here you can see there's a fourth wall broken with me coding in the background, grabbing some coconuts from real life back into VR. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>